दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर बाय आव्या क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल रेज योर डाउट एंड वॉच द वीडियो फॉर श्योर सक्सेस इन जे एम सनीट now we learn the energy height graph so what is energy height graph energy height graphs give you a idea that how the kinetic energy changes with respect to height or the potential energy changes with respect to height so consider a, a case when when a ball is projected vertically upward with some initial velocity and because of this initial velocity v the body raised up to a height h so suppose we have a body of mass m and we have given its a initial velocity v because of this initial velocity it raises up to a height denoted by capital h and stops at this point we term the ground point as a a and other and the topmost point will be as a point b now we will calculate the value of potential energy at any arbitrary point that is how the potential energy changes so the potential energy at the point a will be zero as the body is at the ground level so we consider the potential energy equal to zero at this point and kinetic energy will be have the maximum value so if i consider the point a then u a potential energy will be zero and kinetic energy will be equal to half mv square now if you consider the point b which is at the top point then at this point potential energy is equal to mg capital h and kinetic energy will be zero as the body is in the rest so based on this concept we just move further that if we have to calculate the potential energy at any arbitrary point suppose we we consider any arbitrary point at the height h above the ground then the potential energy at this point we just term this as a c point so point so potential energy at point c is equal to mgh small h so and we have some kinetic energy also at at this point which will be calculated by the conservation of mechanical energy so clearly potential energy at any at any arbitrary height is equal to mgh and if we want to draw the potential energy then what will be the graph here if you see that the potential energy u is equal to mgh so u is directly proportional to h and uh, it's a u versus h graph will be a straight line making some slope angle theta which is given by tan theta will be the slope of uh line and the slope of the uh line as per the formula c this is the formula of, of potential energy which is of the form y is equal to mx where m is the slope of line so the slope of line will be equal to mg so as the slope of line will be equal to tan theta and it is equal to mg so here we we get that the value of slope of this line is equal to mg so clearly if we increase the value of m then if we increase the value of m then cro then cro then correspondingly theta will increase so as what it means it means that for the same height h for the same height h if we have higher mass then its potential energy will be more so and it is also clear that uh, the potential energy as the potential energy is, is equal to mgh and and the potential energy will be directly proportional to m so higher the value of m for constant h the potential energy will be more so so anyway the, so this is the curve of our potential energy with respect to height h and if you see that this line is making an angle theta where theta is equal to tan inverse mg so this is the curve of potential energy now coming to the curve of kinetic energy so how we will get the curve of kinetic energy so for to get a curve of kinetic energy we just know that the total energy will be equal to mgh total energy is equal to mg capital h and the potential energy is given by mg small h so that so the kinetic energy at any height is given by mg capital h minus small h now if you plot this uh, uh, this curve then for h is equal to 0 small h is equal to 0 when the body is at the ground then the kinetic energy will be equal to mgh so this is the point at the highest point we have a highest highest kinetic energy at the uh, at the point a and again this is the line having slope is equal to 
if I consider the line, this line that kinetic energy is equal to mgh minus h, then this is the line of the form y is equal to mx plus c, where m is equal to m is equal to slope of line that is equal to tan theta and here as per this equation is equal to minus mg so slope of this line is equal to if if, if this line is equal to theta if, if this line makes an angle theta then this is equal to tan inverse theta is equal to tan inverse i just put it equal to theta one so tan inverse minus mg now if you see from this figure that this line is of the form y is equal to mx plus c where the value of c is given by c is equal to this value and it is equal to mgh so this is the energy height graph this is graph for potential energy and this graph this green color graph is for kinetic energy now if you add these two graph we we, uh, we just get a straight line which is equal to which is the graph of total energy and the graph of total mechanical energy is given by u e is equal to mgh so if we consider any point during the motion of this uh, object from a to c uh, sorry a to b the energy will remain constant and it is equal to mg capital h so important is that the both kinetic energy and potential energy curve are a straight line Again, as the body moves upward, its potential energy increases due to increase in height, but its kinetic energy decreases due to decrease in velocity. At the maximum height, that is at the point B, the potential energy will be will, will be maximum while the kinetic energy will reduce to zero as the velocity of object will be zero at the maximum point.